They're a group that may inspire fear among some. Now, bikers have a rough and tumble reputation and recent events like the deadly shootout in Waco, Texas have not helped the image. But local motorcycle clubs actually do a lot for the community. TV6's Blair Caldwell met with some riders from Upper Michigan today to see what they're all about. With deadly events like those in Waco, Texas, leaving nine bikers dead, motorcycle clubs are getting a bad name. There are some serious ones, of course, but most of them are, are is just a group of people that enjoy riding the bike, that enjoy meeting other people and making good friends. And that's basically what it's all about. There are several different motorcycle clubs in the Upper Peninsula bringing together bikers from different walks of life. Some include the Combat Vets Motorcycle Association, the Harley Owners Group, and the Jokers Motorcycle Club. Although different, they love their bikes and brothers. We call it our therapy, you know, because no matter how your day is going, once you get on your bike, it's all over. It's, it's a brotherhood. And, uh, you know, there's times when uh, not just if your motorcycle breaks down, but if, uh, you know, a guy's down on his luck or his car broke down, or uh, that's where we all help out. Delbert is one of three generations in the Jokers. They put about 10,000 miles on their bikes a year and meet weekly. If one of their members misbehaves or gives a bad name, they are reprimanded, and if it occurs again, it can be kicked out. You're always going to have people going to believe whatever they want to believe, you know, but get out and meet some guys. So don't be afraid, you know. In fact, several motorcycle clubs in the UP hold rides and raffles to benefit places in the community, like the Jacob Eddy Home for Veterans and Baycliff Health Camp. The Jokers, what we try to do is uh, our main benefit is, is the Jacob Eddy Home for Veterans. If you can help somebody that needs the help, it's just a good feeling, you know. They hope the next time you see them, you'll take a minute to get to know the man behind the tattoos, beard, and the bike. Blair Caldwell, TV6 News, Iron Mountain.